everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes. And today we are going to be making these amazing candy apples which require very few ingredients and they are just wonderful. They are so easy to put together and definitely perfect for this time of year. So let's go over the ingredients we're going to be needing here. Here we have some sugar, some light corn syrup. You want to make sure that you're using the light corn syrup. We're going to be using a little bit of water. You will need some red uh, coloring gel. Now I have used the coloring liquid, but I find that it doesn't taint the color of the um, candy sauce very well. So definitely I suggest you use the gel. And we will be needing some apples. Here I have some Granny Smith apples. I believe these are perfect for this recipe because they are tart so it is definitely the apples to choose for uh, your candy apples. Now I have already rinsed them and dried them very well but I am going to do a boiling process with some baking soda which I will be showing you next which is a very important step because you want to make sure that you remove any wax or anything that might be on your apples. And uh, you also want to have a cookie sheet that's been lined with some parchment paper and lightly greased with some nonstick spray. And that's about it. So let's move on to boiling our apples. Okay, so for the process of boiling our apples, what we are going to do is add one to two tablespoons of baking soda into a pot of boiling water. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then I'm going to place my apples into this boiling water and allow them to sit there for about 10 to 15 seconds, no longer than that. We don't want to cook our apples, so um, just keep an eye on that. Put a timer on your phone. So now I will put the baking soda. I'm going to put uh, one and a half tablespoons and then with a um, spider strainer. I'm just going to place my apples in and then use the same strainer to remove them when the 15 seconds is up, 10 to 15 seconds. And then I will place them on a plate with some paper towel and I will make sure that they are very, very dry. So I'm going to dry them with a nice clean tea towel and you have to make sure that they are completely, completely dried before moving on to uh, dipping our apples in our, in our candy sauce. Okay, so before we move on to making our candy apple uh, sauce, we are going to also need a candy thermometer. Now, I have one here like this, and I find that these are very useful. You can make many things with them, and um, they are very inexpensive. So definitely worth um, investing on something like this. You will also need some lollipop sticks, or you can also use like wooden dowels, or you can use some uh, candy sticks, like the thicker popsicle sticks. Um, you want to make sure that you're using something that is secure and, you know, um, durable because you will be dipping these in the candy and you don't want to get burned or anything like that. So you want to make sure you have some of those. I have some here. So that's pretty much it. So now to make our candy applesauce, we are going to place our saucepan over medium low heat and we are going to add our sugar, our corn syrup and our water. And then we will give our mixture here a mix and then we are going to leave it and not touch it until it comes up to 290 degrees Fahrenheit on our thermometer. And then I will show you what to do after that. But for now, that is what we are going to do. Okay, so it's going to be a very thick mixture. So just carefully, you know, do the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of incorporate them together here. And then we are going to leave our mixture. We are no longer going to stir or do anything like that. Okay, until the time comes for us to add in our red coloring gel. We will also add in our thermometer here. Okay. And that's about it. 
Okay, so our candy here has reached 290 degrees Fahrenheit. I've already closed my stove top. Now I'm going to remove it off my stove and we are going to add in our red food coloring. You can add as much or as little as you want, just depending on how red you want your apples. Okay, so you want to take your apples and just carefully coat them like this, okay? Making sure you're coating the whole apple. And as I said, you want to make sure you have your um, tray ready, okay? Drip off the excess, okay? And place it on your lined and greased cookie sheet. Okay, so our candy apples are ready. They literally take about 10 minutes to set and they're just perfect. Now, I just wanna go over a few tips before we try one. Uh, very important to do the uh, baking soda boiling method. I do feel it does help a lot with um, the texture of the apples. Uh, it doesn't allow it to form any bubbles. Like it is a perfect method and it works every time. Now I do definitely suggest you do it as well. And um, that's uh, pretty much it for that. If you find that your candy sauce thickens very fast because it will thicken if you don't work quickly. Just make sure you place it over medium heat on your stove top and continuously stir it until it melts down again. And it will be perfectly fine. You will be able to um, coat your apples again. It won't be a problem. So just in case that happens, you know what to do. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to cut one of these apples with a knife on a cutting board because I find it is so much easier to eat them that way. They are perfect, so delicious, so wonderful. They are better than any candy apple that you will purchase anywhere. And they are pretty easy to put together. Now, just one more tip, make sure that before you coat your apples, that your apples already have been boiled and clean and dried and that they have had time to cool off. So allow them to just come to room temperature and um, that's pretty much it. So very important tips to follow but a very easy recipe. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links will be in the description box below along with the recipe. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye everyone.